Die! God damn! Oh man! Badass! What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Alpha 16 Hype Train 7 Days to Die Let's Play. Last video, we looted the pharmace pharmaceutical building, and we were just about done with it, but not quite. Um, we didn't get it done, unfortunately, but I think we're going to go back after this video. And today, we are going to be dealing with Horde Knight. Um, I did make one change to the defense. I went ahead and put a switch on the shotgun turret, because I didn't want the shotgun turret uh, going off, you know, at, you know, at will. Um, and also, I think that's, actually, I think that's just about it. Oh, boy, man, we got no time. All right, so if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. I really hope they come from this side. Uh, well, she looks like, oh, they're coming from the corner. I think. Actually, I don't really know where they're coming from. Where are you guys coming from? Okay, well, the blade traps are doing their, oh, yeah, they're coming from the wrong side. Oh, you guys are coming from the wrong side. Oh, my goodness. Now, these traps are eventually going to break and stop working, so that kind of blows, but, you know, we'll see where things go. And I am a little bit concerned about the front door. I mean, the front door is not really made to deal with hordes, but I think with the blade traps, we'll be okay, and then we might have to adjust where we're standing. We might have to stand over there after a while. All right, well, let's get on the first floor, and let's uh, let's deal with this thing head on. We're going to get out our trusty machete, and we're going to machete some punk-ass zombies. All right. I also want to, uh, I think I have some extra darts to put in the dart traps. Yeah, I do. But I don't want to disable them just yet. By the way, as you can see right here, I've got reinforced concrete pretty much all the way around. And this is going to be a horde night where they're coming right from my door. Now, I specifically made my first set of blade traps on this side because I was afraid they were going to come for the door. And I'm glad I did. I'm really, really glad I did. Alright, so let's go ahead and take care of some Zeds. Alright, let's go ahead and loot him. Loot this guy for sure. Always loot that worker zombie, man. But you know what? It's because I always want a miner's helmet. Even though I already have one. I want another one. I want multiple miner's helmets. For my multiple heads. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and loot the... Oh boy, we got a dog here. That's fine. We're getting some food. I don't expect these zombies to have anything really good, to be perfectly honest. But I do like to loot them to get my scavenging skill up. Oh, actually their, their stuff has been pretty decent so far. Right, I do not like that dog. By the way, I took a look at the compound bow, and um, it's it's entity damage is really poor because it's well, it's it's a poor bow. But I couldn't find my crossbow. Did I leave my crossbow in the tower? Can you guys like uh, confirm that? Because I'm pretty sure I did. I think I left my crossbow in the drop chest at the uh, tower, so that kind of sucks. All right, how's my door doing? Let's come on over here and take a look. Yeah, stuff that comes at the door is getting destroyed. Yes, this is working just like I wanted it to. The uh, the blade traps are thinning out the herd. The door is taking care of anything that comes to the door. I'm getting experience, getting loot. Oh man, this is working out just just well, just awesome. And they're coming from the like the worst possible angle for them. You know what I mean? Oh man, this is this is great. This is great. Where's my axe? Let's chop up some bodies. All right, let's get some bodies out of there. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and melee. I really really love this this whole defense. Because the, the the ability for me to melee here is so good. Like, I've I've had the pillar defense before, and the, the, the ability to melee on the... What's going on over here? The ability to melee on the pillar defense was not great, right? But the pull defense is legit. You can really melee here pretty pretty effectively. Alright, so let's go ahead and loot, loot up. Let's go ahead and loot them up. Alright, so they're losing their legs. Oh, boy, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so that one's a little bit tough right there. There we go. If you time it right, though, you can kind of get him. There we go. Okay. Sounds like we got some Hawaiian zombies over there. Yep, I see some Hawaiian zombies right now. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and loot these suckers. Actually, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to break them up and then look for the loot, the loot, like, container. Like, whenever you break up a zombie corpse, if there's loot on them, they have that, like, loot container. I usually like to break them up and then look for the loot container. Okay, you got nothing. You got nothing, lady. Alright, sounds like my uh, traps are going off a little bit more than I'd like to. Alright, we need to give some help here. There we go. Alright, against the big boy, we need to give the traps some help. How are we doing here? How's the door? Oh, the door's doing just fine. The door's freaking legit, man. It's got a lot of hit points. I really love this defense, guys. <laughs> I might be, I'm, I don't know. I've got a different defense plan for Alpha 16 proper, you know, uh, when the game goes stable. But now I'm not sure. I might just elaborate on this defense because this defense isn't going to get done um, before stable 
branch, that's for sure. So I'm thinking I might actually do this again. I'm not sure. And I've got some alterations I want to make to this defense. So I don't know, guys. I'm thinking I might use this defense for, for stable branch. Okay. There we go. Now, this, this, this area right here is a bit of a problem when they get on the pillar. But I think you can kind of time it. No. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of time it and get him out of there. So we got some facial piercings, and I think I already exhausted the horde. And I don't even think my blade traps are broken yet. Man, look at this. Look at those blade traps. They're not even broken yet. Wow. That is just phenomenal. What if I get down there and fix them? Um, you know what? I might be able to. Here, let's see if we can get down there and fix those blade traps. I'm curious. Now, in order to fix them, I know you need steel and you need electrical parts. I don't know if you need mechanical parts. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Alright, so I guess the one in the middle would probably have taken the most damage. But I don't see how I'm going to get down there for it. Nope. Nope. This is really dangerous, by the way. Nope. You do, you do need mechanical parts. It's not even that damaged, guys. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, here we go. Game on. Or, or not. Man, that's why I wouldn't have done that unless I, unless I exhausted the horde. I, it's not even like I could go in my front door. You know, it's all, it's all ready to... Just destroy whoever comes in. All right, so number one, you need mechanical parts for them as well. I, I didn't realize that. Number two, number two, uh, did that wire get broken out? I can't tell. Is that wire broken out or what? I think it is. I think that the area, the, the little wire over there, the um, the fence wire post, I think might have gotten knocked out. So we'll have to check that after after the horde's done. But um, anyway, number one, I. Uh, I went down to uh, repair that, and you, you, you do need mechanical parts. Number two, it wasn't even that damaged. Number three, <laughs> I fell in almost like in the middle of a horde night, but uh, was not an issue. All right, so th this bow is an absolute piece of crap uh, because it's so weak. Like, look at that, 24 entity damage. I don't know what the crossbow is, but it's got to be more than that. I'm probably just going to make myself a new crossbow. Why not? Right. That sounded like a cop, didn't it? Oh, well. Probably not. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a new crossbow, because um, I really don't want to wait to get one. Okay, so we need uh, glue, leather, and forged iron. Glue, leather, and forged iron. Glue, leather, and forged iron. Do we need to make it in here? Honestly, I don't remember. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, well, whatever. We'll make, we'll make it in our... There we go, and craft. Can I... Oh, wait, hold on. I can make better weapons. Should I? Uh, I'm already making green weapons. I think I'm going to hold off for now. No, actually, can't... Uh, actually, at the next point of le le uh, weaponsmithing, don't I get to make the uh, the machete? Didn't you guys say at level 6 I get to make the machete? Does it say that anywhere? Or yeah, Let's give it a shot. Oh, actually, I need level 6 to make green weapons. Never mind, I want to make green weapons. All right. Uh, that is a spell machete, right? Oh, M-A. Okay. <laughs> machete. Machete. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can make the machete. Oh, you need a machete blade. Okay, so that's the trick. So, yeah, technically you can make the machete, but not really. <laughs> you know? Where the hell you get a machete blade from? Can you make that? Yes, you can. Um, but I don't know it. I don't know how I'm going to have to... I don't know. Guys, what do I need to make the machete blade? It's not lit up, so I'm guessing I don't have the proper um, skill. Maybe it's um, maybe it's more weaponsmithing? I don't know. It should tell you in here, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should tell you somewhere in here, unless I'm just missing it, but whatever. All right, well, let's just go ahead and make the crossbow now. Crossbow! There we go! All right, so where did I put my uh, bolts? Uh, so all my bolts are probably back there, too. All right, so... Why don't we go ahead and set this up to make some steel bolts, right? Does anybody have a problem with that? I know I don't. All right, how many steel bolts? Uh, 250? That's not even that much iron, honestly. Yeah, go ahead and make 250 steel bolts. 
Sure. Go for it. All right, let's drop some stuff up here. Now, I'm a, I think the horde's over. At first, I wasn't sure. I was thinking maybe, um, because sometimes the horde come in, comes in spurts. But, uh, no, I think it's, I think it's over. All right, so let's see what we're wearing. Uh, can we do better? No. We'll scrap that, and we'll scrap that, and we'll scrap that. Can't scrap it. Who cares? All right, this is inventory management stuff. I'm not doing this on camera. Let me just, uh... Just do this quickly. I'll do that. Those are my drop-off chests. Like, if I'm on video, I use my drop-off chest. And then when the video's over, I'll go through it. Um, okay. So I was thinking that I might want to... Eh, yeah, let's go out and loot. That's right. Don't loot. Just break these up. And when you see the loot bag, then loot it. It's not really a bag. The, the loot on the zombies is eviscerated, eviscerated, eviscerated remains. I should be drinking beer when I'm out here doing this. And the reason you want to drink beer when you're out here doing this is because beer makes you need to stun. And the biggest problem I'm going to have right now is if I get stunned. I don't know why I keep looting these guys. I'm supposed to do this. Mechanical parts. Very nice. So how damaged are these? Man, these things are barely damaged. That is just awesome. I think this setup is pretty much exactly what I wanted it to be. I really like it. It's letting some through, but it's thinning out the herd. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. And it seems to be working like a champ. Oh, yeah. That was, I was like, where's that wood come from? I was like, it was from when I fell. I heard something, didn't I? I'm not just... I'm not just going crazy, right? You guys heard that too, right? Hello? I guess not. Okay. Okay. We gotta we gotta keep record oh, we gotta keep recording this because this is I think this is pretty exciting. Like, oh, is he gonna get jumped? You know, like uh Yep, they did break out the fence. Okay. That's um it's pretty smart zombies there. I'm not gonna lie. So what I keep hearing is the blades. I'm not used to the sound of the blades, so I keep thinking I'm hearing zombies. And it's really the blades, and it's freaking me the hell out. Alright, so a bunch of zombies crashed and burned over here too, which is really nice. Yeah, this is a great... Man, this is a... I really like this build. <laughs> really like this build a lot. Alright, let's get inside, drop some stuff off, and then come out and do some more looting. I may have to, um... I don't know, up the amount of, like, time the horde's out during the night, because, like, man, this horde, you know, uh, got depleted pretty quickly. Let's see how many darts I have left. Oh, God, I didn't even use that many darts. Well, the middle one got used pretty much. Actually, I should probably keep the middle one the most filled, because that's the one that's going to get used the most. And, I, I, man, the darts on top are even better than the darts on the sides. When I Before I put the darts on top, you guys asked me to put the darts on top, and I wasn't sure. I, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't sure. I was like, I don't know about this. And I was like, well, you know what? They asked me to do it. To hell with it. I'm going to do it. Um, oh, boy. We didn't have enough wood in there. Okay, well, that's fine. We got some more wood right here. And I'm like, to hell with it. They, the, the, you guys asked me to do it. I'm going to do it for you guys. And um, we'll see. Who knows? It, it might work, you know? Uh, stranger things have happened. Uh, and sure enough, you were right. It definitely works. All right, I'm going to keep that to sell to the trader. So why don't we uh, scrap this? And just throw all this stuff in here. I'll do this. I will do this uh, organizing off camera. Because, right, nobody, nobody needs to see inventory management in a Let's Play. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, let's go out there and continue looting. I am going to grab some of these arrowheads. And I am going to grab some uh, of these wonderful, wonderful feathers that I have so many of. And we are going to go ahead and make steel crossbow bolts. Okay. Oh, boy. So, people are saying that uh, on day 28 is when cops started showing up for them. Um, but my game stage is probably lower than other people's because I keep dying like a dope. So, I need to stop dying. And some people are on the forums uh, suggesting to the fun pimps that they that they make death... Uh, make an option so death does not lower your game stage. And I think that would be really nice. Because death does not really put you behind that much. It really doesn't. And most of the time when you die, it's not because of a horde. It's because, you know, you backed up into a landmine. Or you were 
climbing a construction tower that you never climbed before and you didn't expect ferals to be up there um or just stupid little stupid mistakes or or a three a three dire wolf pack of dire wolves spawn on you right behind you and and uh kill you quick you know uh, very rarely when you die do you actually need the game stage to be less you know what i mean um so i don't even know if dying should matter that much perfectly honest oh hello I'm gonna do some farming. Old Mick KG had a farm. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying not to get a copyright. Not that my singing could ever be confused with real music, but you know, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Alright, so we've got a lot of stuff here. That is beautiful. I'm not going into my inventory and setting up uh, seeds on Horde Night in the middle of the night like this, although I think I'm pretty safe, but. Still, I'm not going to do that. We need to finish this tower, I think. And then I think the next thing we're going to... I think we should just start finishing the tower and start completing this this build. I am going to finish I am gonna finish the pharmaceutical building. I know you guys have been waiting for that. Um, but at the same time, once that's done, it's I'm going to really start building quite a bit. What the hell was that? Oh! Ha! <laughs> This stupid thing flew into my electric fence. Jackass. Man, you are the dumbest freaking vulture I've ever seen. Now, should I knife this? Should I axe this guy or knife him? Eh. Uh, oh, God. Axe him. <laughs> Got like almost 100 feathers out of that dude. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, let's go see what's going on down here. Here's some... I hear some shenanigans. Hello, just here? Uh, steel bolts. Now you're in trouble. So some people were worried that I was going to get uh, electrocuted here, but... I mean, you can, but it's kind of difficult to. I mean, I, it's easy to stay out of. All right, let's go out there and kill anything that's in the area. And, uh, wow, successful Horde Knight, guys. I mean, I need to stop dying to keep my game stage high. Like I said, guys, what do you think about dying affecting your game stage? Like, right, I mean, how many times do you guys die where it's, like, a big problem? Like, you're like, oh, my God, the game's too hard. I need to get easier. That's not that's not really the case 99% of the time, I think, right? I mean, what do you guys think? It's not like it's not like it ever happens where the horde breaks in and kills you and destroys your base. Like how often does that ever happen? I mean, I guess it happens, but you know, I don't know. I, I don't think death should have affect the game stage that much. All right, so let's go ahead and make some more of these bad boys. Oh, maybe not. We don't have any room. All right, let's turn off the blades. We are done, man. I guys, I don't even know, man. I, I, uh, maybe we should just go start looting the pharmaceutical building now, because, like, I got nothing left to do here. This is, and we, we got a lot of minutes left in this video. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'll see you in the pharmaceutical building. All right, guys, spend some time up here. What's up, bro? There you go, you're dead. By the way, when I was uh, dying of thirst the other day, um, you guys made a really good point. Uh, yeah, I should have just bought some more stuff from this. Although, you know what? I didn't bring my coins. And, of course, they have coffee now. Oh, and I brought steel. I did not get my inventory properly set up for this. But that's okay. We're good enough. Let's just go through here. Alright. Yeah, we came through here. So, is this place respawned or... I don't know. I, I didn't think it would be, but that one guy attacked. But now I don't, I don't think so. I think we're okay now. Okay, let's just come through here. Uh, we're in close quarters, so let's take out our trusty shotgun. This is my boomstick! Now I swear, the next one of you... What did he call him? The next one of you primates even touches me! Oh god, I just fell. Damn it. Anyway, um... Alright, so let's come on through here and let's see what we got. We go over there, we come down here. Try not to fall again. And then we'll come through here, okay. I'd really like to finish this building up pretty like soon. You know what I mean? All right, so this is where this is about this is about where I ended up. Yep, yep. There's my drop-off chest. Is that where my crossbow is? I'm really curious. No, I don't know what happened to my crossbow. I must have dropped it somewhere. Oh well, no big deal. All right, let's come through here. By the way, as I as I um started going back down, 
um, after the last video, as I started going back down the, the, um, the main staircase, I started breaking up uh, the, you know those metal grates that kind of like block your way? I started breaking those up because they go, a lot, it lets you go a lot quicker through the area, so. Okay. Nope. I should be able to make that jump, right? Can't you make this jump, probably? There we go. All right, man, how far did I get? Got pretty far, huh? Okay. I guess I stopped here because I did not break this. Oh, God. Freaking toilet. Ugh, I'm not taking poop. Okay, this guy. Oh, hello. Come on down, lady. Let's dance. I ain't afraid of you punks now. That's when I usually die, so be ready. Be ready for another death. Okay, I do not want to run out of stamina, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this up here. Bring this down here, put that up there, bring that down here. Let's chug ourselves a coffee. Did I loot this? Uh, yes, I did. I went up there. I'm pretty sure I looted up here as well. Let's just double check. Let's just double check. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wall safe. Did not see that. Did not see that. By the way, at some point, I'm going to have to go on a on a looting spree that where I have to take stuff apart with the wrench. Um, I need a lot of more I need a lot more mechanical parts and a lot of other things. I might do that on stream though. I don't think that would make an interesting video. Uh, pistol parts, of course it is. I hate the pistol. Ugh. Alright. Let's come on through here. Drawer. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Yucca seeds. Don't care about those. And I uh, don't care about a refrigerator. B -b -b refrigerator! Oh, some rebar. That's nice. Oh, we got it. Look at this. So what's in there? Can we break through this? 500? What do, you, what do you think? What do you think? Is there something through here? No. All right. I guess we got to break in the door. It's not like this door is a big deal. I make short work of this sucker, right? Oh. Another staircase? Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's right. That was that. Thought I heard something. Alright. These guys all look pretty normal. I'm still looking for those big bad zombies, but apparently uh, some people were telling me the reason I'm not getting the big, the big bads is because my game stage is too low. Which is fine by me. Oh, here they go. Oh, that's a, that's a feral. And a dead feral. And another dead feral. Soon to be dead. Whoop. Oh, there you go. Didn't even hit me. Feral carcass. So should the ferals be dropping more interesting stuff? Yeah, that's what the ferals should be dropping. Are either of these ferals? I guess not. Oh, that is a feral. Okay. Now, why aren't these guys waking up? Die! God damn. Oh, man. Badass. What are you dropping? You better drop something good. Uh, well, it's something. It's not great, but it's something, right? All right, I don't need this. Okay, got some ferals there. All right, it's starting to heat up a little. It's starting to heat up in this place. Starting to heat up. I'm glad because, like, man, I was getting bored with the regular zombies. Just like, come on, man. Like, I heard this place is supposed to be like freaking crazy town. It's just like, ugh, just nothing. Are there anything cool in these drawers ever? Probably not. I'm gonna stop reading them. Shut up, timer. We're not done. Okay, looking good. Oh, look at that. Okay, good there. Anything in here? Oh, we got a door here. Okay, let's break through here. Plastic. I don't have a ton of plastic at home. I don't know if I need a lot of it, but... 
Hmm. I don't feel right about this place. Right? Something, something feels a little off, don't it? All right, guys. I think I'm gonna call this one here. Um, I, I have a bad feeling about this. Um, I have a feeling that something's about to go terribly wrong. So uh, you guys are definitely gonna want to check out next episode. All right, guys. I'm gonna call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.